Hey guys, how you all doing? And welcome back to another video. So today we celebrate Palm Sunday, the start of the Passion Tide. And in today's gospel, we read that Jesus enters into Jerusalem in, on a donkey and multitudes of people gather together to worship Jesus. And, you know, they start rejoicing, you know, Jesus after seeing um, all of the works that he has done. So I just want to say that Palm Sunday, you know, as we start the Passion Tide is a great time for us to be able to just really reflect back on the goodness of God, the goodness of all that he's um, done in our lives, thanking him and worshipping him for all the blessings and even the miracles that has happened in our lives. And so as we start this Passion Tide, we are both remembering and rejoicing over all the good that the Lord has done in our life, but we also enter into the passion in which Jesus you know, does the greatest act of love in giving his own self for the whole of humanity, for the forgiveness of sins and for an opportunity to, you know, for, for us all to have eternal life. And so I want to focus on this aspect of, you know, of rejoicing. And we must try and ask that question, you know, when we read today, today's gospel of why were they rejoicing? What is it about the miracles that took place, about the works of the Lord that took place that has made them rejoice, that has made them, you know, worship the Lord? And that is that their hope you know, has been restored. So recently, um, you know, a, a, a group of um, youth came here and we were, um, and I was speaking to them about hope, you know, and when we hope for the future, you know, we are hoping, you know, for a good life, you know, we're hoping for a good career. And we have many hopes and aspirations and hope is always, you know, to do with the future and sometimes, you know, when it comes to the future, we have lots of anxiety. We have lots of, you know, um, uncertainties about the future and that can really bring us, you know, discomfort. And so for these people, when they're rejoicing today, they their hope was restored in Christ because they have seen the works of the Lord. And so Palm Sunday as well is a time for us to restore our hope in Jesus, trust in Jesus and trust that he has the best interest um, of our lives. You know, a lot of the people uh, that were worshipping and that were rejoicing, you know, may have had a life of hopelessness, but as soon as they saw the works of Jesus, they realised that in fact there is hope in Jesus himself and that through him nothing is impossible. And after seeing the work of Jesus, the love that Jesus has, they had a transformation, they had a renewal of hope in their lives. And so my dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus dies on the cross to give us hope of eternal life, let us, you know, really entrust our lives to Jesus, really focus this week in this Passion Tide and really try and, you know, get a renewal of hope in our life for our future and for whatever we, you know, are feeling hopeless about. Let us have a renewal of hope. Thank you so much guys for listening. I hope you have a great week ahead. God bless.